For this lesson, we're going to be looking at the idea of doing a flesh into your opponent's attack. Now, for obvious reasons, this is not something you'd want to entertain doing in foil or in saber. One, in foil, priority works against you, so it'd just be a counterattack. And two, in saber, fleshing is not a valid option because you're crossing your feet. For that reason, we're going to be looking at this as a specific action to FA. So why would we want to do a flesh when our opponent is attacking us? Well, to answer that, let's just look at what a flesh is. A flesh is an explosive surprise attack that is designed to catch your opponent unawares or unprepared. And that is an ideal action to do when your opponent is already set on their own action and is not really prepared to do anything against you if you should interrupt them. Now, what we're going to do in this lesson is really examine one, how to do a flesh, and two, what kind of situations would allow you to do a flesh into your opponent's attack. And we're going to look at one specific case where that could be a very reasonable action to do. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is look at how we do a flesh. Now, a flesh is an attack and it means arrow, so your body is going to be taking flight. There's a few components to this that we'll strip it down to. So if you're standing in your on guard position, first thing you want to do is present line. Make sure your shoulders still nice and relaxed. After you present line, you're going to lean into that action, and then you're going to push with your back leg until you feel like you're about to fall over, and then you cross over while accelerating with your back. So this is a good example of how we do a flesh. Now, when we're going to be doing this flesh, we're going to be looking at a specific situation where your opponent is attacking you, but they're attacking you in the center, this would be a very risky thing to do, as you'll either double out or you won't get a point on because it'll be blocked by time. So what we'll be looking at is an attack to your foot. So if an opponent attacks your foot, there are a few options that allow you to do a flesh. And let's have a look at that. So from that clip, you notice that the attacker was focused on the foot and the defender was attempting to displace the target, but was a bit slow. Now in situations like that, common actions in response is that you're going to withdraw your foot and you're going to extend your arm. So in this idea, you've already essentially started a flesh, you just need to complete it. And the problem in just limiting yourself to this action of withdrawing the target and extending your arm is that you're still here and you're not any closer to hitting your opponent. If they're attacking your foot, their target is lowering, it's dropping. So if you extend your arm directly forward, sure, you've got great reach. But if they're down there and you have to aim lower, you're reducing that chance of hitting because you're also reducing your reach. Now true, your opponent is attacking forward, but they're doing so in a direct line, and you are not. So let's get started and look at how we can do a flesh against someone who's attacking the foot. So when your opponent attacks your foot, there are a few actions you need to do first before you initiate your flesh. So obviously if they're attacking you, the first thing you want to do is displace target if they're going after your foot, so you're going to withdraw that. But simultaneously, you're going to extend your arm to present line. So your single first action is actually going to have two independent movements. First one is going to be your foot and your arm. So you withdraw your foot and present line. Now you're in a perfect position to do a flesh. Your target's displaced. You're going to push with your back foot. And as you are leaning forward, you're already building momentum. And you just let that carry you forward and you have your flesh. Now, in this case, you don't want to flesh directly ahead because again, they're attacking your foot, their target is lowered. So when you do the flesh, you're going to want to again, displace, point where you believe your opponent is, lean and forward. And you should be able to fly in and hit them. This is going to be a very difficult drill though. 
So make sure you practice it a lot. Your body is going to feel very confused, especially as you're displacing your foot. This is gonna put you off balance. So be careful about that. Start slow, and when you get more comfortable, you can start to speed it up. Let's look at a few attempted fleshes. Now that we've got a good idea of how to do the flesh against your opponent's attack to your foot, let's dive into our circuit exercises and uh, see if we can start really producing a good action. Let's get started with those. For our first exercise, you're going to do this for 30 seconds and it's going to be a half step forward. There's your half, your opponent attacks your foot, you withdraw target, and into the flesh. Do that for 30 seconds. Your second exercise is going to be a half step back, then you're going to do your flesh. Do this for 30 seconds, half step back, withdraw the target, and flesh. For our third and final exercise, we're going to be doing a bit of a bounce in this position, and every five seconds you're going to do a flesh. Repeat this for one minute. So you're going to bounce, and then you're going to withdraw your foot, and flesh, and continue that for one minute. No, 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 you gotta get out of there, right over here. For that reason, you wanna catch your opponent at a rather specific already off balance from this position, you're going to want to go forward from this position. You just complete uh, flesh against an attack. Now, for obvious reasons, this is not half step. Then you're going to withdraw your foot and flesh. So it's going to be a step forward. That's your help. Half the, uh, uh. <clears throat> Elevator, you're going to be hopping up and down. And when, oh, sweating, it's kind of hot. 